Hey folks, so either before you watch this battle or once you're done, I don't particularly care which, you should go over to Pogobox 5 and check out the battle I uploaded there. It's against the same opponent, I use the same team, he uses basically the same team with some slight variations. Anyway, uh, and the battles go pretty much the same way, but with different players, and they're both good battles. So anyway, yeah, go check out that battle too, and let me quit babbling. And now to the battle at hand. Uh, this is a UU battle, my opponent is Piplop Master 11, and I'm using this UU team, my James team, that I love so very, very much. And my opponent goes ahead and leads off with Galvantula, as I am- oh, it's a shiny Galvantula, oh, ain't that, ain't that nice. Anyway, I lead off with Patrick, because I really want Stealth Rock set up, considering he's got that Moltres. So I think I can take a Bug Buzz, even if this guy is Specs, which basically all Galvantulas are these days. It does about half, and I get, get the special defense drop, which sucks. I go ahead and set up Stealth Rocks, so at least now when that Moltres comes in, it's going to take 50% damage. I'm going to go ahead and swap out here, predicting that he is um, locked into this, and knowing that my Arcanine can resist it. So here comes the Bug Buzz. Don't really think it's going to do too much, and indeed it really doesn't, so that's excellent, that's really, really excellent. I'm going to go ahead and predict this switch into Samurott, because let's face it, it was fairly obvious. I mean, I, I was he probably expected me to go for the obvious uh, Fur Blitz, and I didn't. I predicted this quite well. Go for the super effective, super effective, rather, Banded wild charge my god arcanine has so much new stuff to play with this gen it's just awesome anyway my opponent's gonna go ahead and switch out leaky leaky now and i decide well i could just stay in an attack but i don't really want to i'm not actually sure how i'll take up this leaky leaky uh you know i don't think it's gonna do enough to take him out depending on what set he's running so i'm gonna go ahead and send out clank predicting him to use return he doesn't use return uh, that's great because it's free switch for me, and now I'm going to get a free sub on the switch. I think I had this battle before the battle that I posted on Pokebox 5. Um, not 100% positive, but just based on uh, how this battle is going and how that battle went. So anyway, yeah, get up my sub. He sends out Tangrowth, and so I'm thinking, okay, well, this is fine. I mean, he's going to break my sub as soon as he uses Power Whip, but that's okay. I can get off one really great focus punch before that happens. So yeah, Seed Bomb. Actually, that's interesting. Seed Bomb versus Power Whip. Hmm. Anyway, my substitute's gonna fade, and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the focus punch here, which is my most powerful move on this Gullar, and I'm not expecting it to KO because Tangrowth is a physically defensive wall, survived just a little bit of HP because of a crit. I'm really sorry about that crit. Um, now here I make a really stupid thing, because, stupid mistake, because as you can see, the leftovers tell you which Pokemon goes first. I went first. So I could have gone for the Shadow Punch, KO'd, and that would have been excellent. Instead, I'm going to switch into my Tangrowth, gonna take the Seed Bomb, it's not really gonna do very much. You know, there was a crit, and that's actually really impressive right there. Um, I took that hit that well with no defense investment, or no HP investment either to speak of. Anyway. Uh, my opponent's now going to switch out Tangrowth, and I could have just had it KO'd right to start with. And is, my opponent is going to go ahead and send out Moltres, going to take 50% damage on that switch. Uh, exerting pressure, whatever. I'm going to go ahead and go over the Hidden Power Ice. I was just going to KO his Tangrowth. Instead, at least it's regularly effective against Moltres. Isn't going to do very much, but it is going to prevent that Moltres from switching again. So now I'm predicting the fire type move, either the heat wave or fire flamethrower or whatever, and go ahead and go into Blake, thinking, and indeed, my opponent actually doesn't do that, goes for the air slash, excellent, excellent move, very, very impressive Piplop Master 11. Great, great decision there. It unfortunately didn't take out my Blake, and I'm able to take him out with an extreme speed. Wasn't sure who was faster, just didn't want to go around. But anyway, Licky Licky comes back out, takes a little bit more damage. Cloud Nine's not gonna do anything here. Yeah, Cloud Nine's not the most useful. I guess, I mean, there's still sand and there's still um, snow in UU, isn't there? I think there's still snow. Anyway, yeah. Uh, was not predicting Power Whip here uh, as I sent in my Empoleon. Uh, but as you can see, its I don't think it's even going to be a 3-hit KO, so yeah, he recovers some health with leftovers. I'm going to go ahead and try to get off the burn, because I just want this uh, Licky Licky, which is obviously an offensive Licky Licky, crippled, but doesn't 
to work. Anyway, power hits again, and I'm hoping that it's going to get me down to torrent range, but I do the math, and it doesn't look like that's low enough for torrent. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the agility rather than killing him, hoping that he hit me one more time and get me down into torrent range. Unfortunately, well, fortunately, unfortunately, what have you, uh, my opponent switches into sock. And so now I'm going to get off the agility for free. I'm going to go ahead and go for the skull. Really wasn't expecting this to KO. Um, and it doesn't, actually. Uh, but my opponent isn't carrying the close combat or doesn't want to use it. Goes for the earthquake, and that's not enough to KO. And now I'm down in torrent range. Oh yeah, it's because of the burn that it wasn't enough to KO. But still, I'm really impressed there because it was super effective and whatnot. Anyway, Ice Beam predicting the switch. I KO, and his sock is down, and now there's really no one who can take on Tux, I figure, because I'm so darn fast, and I have the Torrent Boost, so that's going to be excellent. So Scald against his Galvantula, who is, you know, obviously a really big threat, as all Galvantulas are, uh, take out his Galvantula with a single Scald, that was no crit or anything, it's all thanks to Torrent, and my excellent speed thanks to Agility. So now, Licky Licky is down to pretty low HP, I'm pretty sure I can kill it with a Scald, uh, if not, then, you know, my holding on sweep will end quite quickly, but as you can see, my skull does do enough to KO, so I've got an Empoleon sweep going, woo! I love Empoleon, I love, love my tux. This Agila Empoleon is great. Anyway, Tangrowth, I believe, is my opponent's last Pokemon. Gonna go ahead and go for the super effective Ice Beam, and that is going to be good game. So, great game, Piplup, Master 11. All three of our matches were great games. Um... Yeah, and I hope you folks enjoyed watching them, so comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.